Titans have been through so many changes ever since the Ark 3.0 update, but today I am here to bring you the best Ark Titan build this season. And I don't use this word lightly, so trust me when I say it, I actually mean it. This build is going to allow you to spam hard hitting abilities like never before. You will be making so many ionic traces that you might start running away from them at one point. I have tested this build out in multiple Grandmasters and let me tell you that it destroys, especially in this week's Grandmaster Mars Battleground, which I managed to complete and this were the final results. I was mind blown by how well this build performs in the hardest Grandmaster this season. Keep in mind that I recorded this when firepower was bugged and not dropping orbs of power on grenade kills. By the time you watch this, it might already be fixed. Let's start with the most basic question, pulse grenades or storm grenades? After a couple of tests, pulse grenades ended up doing around the same damage as storm grenades if not more. However, pulse grenades generate ionic traces whenever it damages an enemy, making them straight up a much better choice than storm grenades. You can still use storm grenades, but you won't be spamming nowhere near as many abilities, so I recommend sticking to pulse grenades. Next up, let's check out what makes this build possible and how we are going to be generating so many ionic traces. It's a combination of our aspect Touch of Thunder and Pulse Grenades. This aspect allows for our Pulse Grenades to create ionic tracers when it deals damage. It also increases its damage each time it pulses. What I love the most about this combo is that it becomes even stronger in hard content, as enemies have more health Therefore, they get hit by the Pulse Grenade more times, giving you more Ionic Traces. Which means that this build gets even better the more difficult content that you do. Since our grenade is going to be a key ability in this build, we are going to buff it up with our fragments. Spark of Magnitude is going to extend the duration of our grenade, that way it can hit an enemy more times, dealing more damage and generating more Ionic Traces. Spark of Shock is going to allow for our grenade to jolt targets, which by the way counters overload champions, so you have one champion already covered just with your grenade alone. Spark of Ions is the next fragment that we are using, and this is going to create an ionic trace whenever we defeat a jolted target, which is going to be all the time. This combo alone will generate two ionic traces even if you instantly kill an enemy. Finally, our last fragment is optional, but it makes this build even stronger. Spark of Discharge allows our arc weapons to have a chance to generate ionic tracers on final blows. And let me tell you, combine this with Thunderlord or Trinity Ghoul and you will not only be the ad clear king, but you will also be generating a ton of ionic traces so you can spam those abilities even more often. Next up, we have a couple of mods that play a huge role in getting our abilities back. For example, Bolstering Detonation, Outreach and Bomber are all going to aid you in cycling abilities more often, since our grenade will lower our thruster's cooldown while our thruster lowers our grenade and our melee's cooldown. Finally, we can't forget about the grenade and utility kickstarts, since these mods will further lower the cooldown of our grenade and our thruster every time we use it. The cherry on top, and what takes this build to its utmost limits, is Heart of Imus Light. And yes, I have tried Armamentarium, which is also extremely good, but I simply prefer the extra ability region and damage that Hoyle provides. Hoyle empowers your abilities whenever you use one, so for example, if you use your grenade, then you will get your thruster and your melee empowered. This can stack up to two times, giving your abilities even more region and damage. Now, before we get any deeper, I want to give a quick shout out to Apex Gaming PCs, which I have worked with to make my own personal PC line, which is now available for you guys to check out. You can customize the PCs as you please, and remember, you can also use my discount code TREY for up to $250 discount. Stat-wise, you want to aim for that 100 resilience, not only for the damage reduction, but also for the lower thruster cooldown. Then you want to go for discipline, that way we can get our grenade as fast as possible. For our class ability, you can either go for thruster or for your barricade if you feel like you need the extra protection. 
Now I like to choose Thruster just to have that lower cooldown, that way I can spam it more often, which is going to lead me to spamming all of my other abilities more often as well. Now for your melee, it's also personal preference, you can either choose Thunderclap or Seismic Strike. The reason why you might want to pick Seismic Strike, it's because it blinds enemies and this counters unstoppable champions. Aspect wise, we are using Knockout, which is going to basically boost our melee damage and allow our melee to start health regeneration. A little trick with Knockout is that this aspect makes your normal melee count as empowered, meaning that you can also use it to maintain your Hoyle stacks pretty much infinitely by punching enemies. And next up we have Touch of Thunder, which is going to allow for our Pulse Grenade to generate those Ionic Traces whenever it deals damage to an enemy. Spark of Magnitude, Spark of Shock, Spark of Ions, and then as I've mentioned, Spark of Discharge, which is the one you can swap out if you're not using Arc Weapons. Now, if you really don't want to use an Arc Weapon, then you can simply switch this out for something like Spark of Resistance, Spark of Amplitude, or Spark of Feedback and Volts if you need the extra stats. Now mod wise we are starting off with heavy ammo finder, that way we don't run out of heavy ammo as often. Followed by harmonic siphon, so we can generate orbs of power with our weapon. And then ashes to assets, so we can get super energy whenever our grenade kills an enemy. On our gauntlets we are using grenade kickstart for the free grenade energy whenever we throw it. Firepower, which is supposed to generate an orb of power when your grenade gets a final blow, however at the moment is bugged. So if you are watching this video while it's still bugged, I suggest that you switch this out for another grenade kickstart until they fix the bug. And then lastly, we are using bolstering detonation for that class ability energy. On our chest plate, we are simply using triple resistance because it's always nice to have. On our boots, we are using stack on stacks for that extra stack on armor charge whenever we pick up an orb of power. And then innervation plus recuperation. On our class item, we are using bomber, which is going to give us grenade energy whenever we use our thruster. Utility Kickstart, which gives us class ability energy whenever we use our thruster. And then Outreach, which is going to once again give us melee energy this time whenever we use our thruster. Weapon wise, I suggest that you stick with Thunderlord, which is absolutely amazing with this build, or Trinity Ghoul. At the end of the day, any arc weapon works with this build, but those two are my personal favorites, which I use most of the time. The way you want to play this build is by spamming your abilities as often as possible. This way we can make use of all our modes as well as our exotic armor. We always start the rotation with our grenade, instantly followed by our thruster. After that, if possible, and I mean only if possible, you can also try using your melee on an enemy. However, if it's too risky, then simply don't do it because it's not as important. This rotation will be generating a ton of ionic traces, which will help you in getting your abilities back faster. If you are using Spark of Discharge, then you will also want to stick to that Arc weapon for even more Ionic Tracers. Thunderlord is my personal favorite, especially when there is overloaded machine guns. Keep in mind that your melee final blows also start your health regeneration, so if you are low, then you can always use your melee to save your life. Lastly, this build will generate a ton of super energy, so don't be afraid to spam your super as soon as you get it. And that is all for today guys, I hope that you liked the build and as always have a good rest of your day.